Now that we are back in ZBrush, let's play with Live Boolean. Okay, let's close this one. So I have a sword, doesn't matter what object. Uh, let's append a new object. So let's take this cube like this. Press E so we can scale it down. Okay. And we can use, we do not need to go to divide like this, we can use um, Ctrl Z, we can just press D and we can activate uh, Dynamaster Divide, yes. But let's not use it for now for this uh, square, Shift D, go back, uh, we can always yes, no let's keep it like this. So, to use uh, Live Boolean, we can go to left corner and press Live Boolean. As you can see, nothing is happened. So, we need to go to the square and press Subtract. And here we go, we have a hole in our star. So, we can go and press, let's say, E to scale it. And as you can see, we can play along. <laughs> we have another star. The the thing that I discovered is that I need to make tests because it's not predictable. Or maybe I do not know how to use it yet. But when I'm introducing a cube in the star, I, I'm not sure what will happen. As you can see, I have another star in the middle. It is interesting, so... <laughs> Let's play more. So let's scale it back. We can scale it like this. Or we can rotate the cube. And we have another interesting shape. We can move it. If we press polyframe we see where the square is. The cube is like this. So it's a pretty interesting feature. Feature. We can play along. Let's say that we want to make something else. So let's duplicate the star. We need to go lower because the way it works is everything what is be bottom the uh, original mesh will change. So we need to add this arrow and make it start, a new start. So let's append, mm, so let's append, a sphere. Again, let's scale it down. Oops. So it's, with sphere, it's also interesting. Anyway, so this is the mainly live boolean does. So you can go to boolean, and we can because if we pr if we close the live boolean, we have our meshes. So we need to collapse it. So make boolean mesh, and now we can go to our Boolean mesh because we had two starter we have two uh, different uh, stars one with uh, the the square and one with the sphere so let's close this one the cool thing is that the mesh is kept on how the they are the wireframe they are so let's try to apply uh, on an actual uh, project. So I'm working on this bull. I hope that I will have time to finish it because I want to make it something like a uh, steampunk bull. 
I do rec I'm recording this uh, video tutorial so I'm going to post it on YouTube when it's done so that's why I'm still learning the live bullying because I'm not that good for now so let's go solo because I want to apply to an actual project so let's append no let's close the solo let's append um, let's go for C render let's scale it down nope not this one this one press shift and rotate so to be ah we have the number so 40 degrees 70 degrees and 90 degrees that's a cool feature so let's move it in place scale it more now i want to duplicate this one go into deformation and mirror so i will have symmetry so let's merge it down yes so symmetry is active on the bull as, as well and let's make a hole so this is pretty fast and pretty cool so i can have this mechanic i can add mechanics okay the next thing that i want to talk is that we do have some uh, brushes made uh, by default so press b i am m boolean Let's press it and wait. And we have pretty many objects. I think the community also will be improved with new objects that can be used. So let's take this one. And let's add it over here. Okay, we can rotate, move it, and now let's see what happens if we So the new feature that I really like to live balloon is that we can add thickness to high poly mesh. So let's receive the ZBrush for now. Press yes. So let's go back to Lightbox and project and choose this head female demo. Okay. Uh, let's close this one for now. Let's duplicate. Let's add the duplicate. No, first let's go to transparency, press E, and let's scale it down to have thickness. Like this. Now let's go to subtract. Let's go to append and append the cube. Okay. Let's scale down the cu cube also. It's too big. Move it down and let's add to subsect also. So, as you can see, we have thickness, so it's pretty cool feature. I do have ideas where I can use it. Also, the best cool, the best feature is uh, why I like this one is because in the past you needed to go to the lower subdivision for your mesh and freeze it 
and use as a loss of the visual Z model to have to make a thickness. So, and now it's pretty easy to have the detail mesh and still can do. Also, if you want to make the thickness bigger in some areas, you can do. So let's go to the second one and just press B and let's take move. And as you can see, we can create the thickness bigger. So it's pretty awesome. Or we can go to clay build up. So I'm still learning the live volume because I'm going to and I want to apply it to the steampunk bull and other hard surface project. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. See you next time.